In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to sign up for HostGator services as well, save you up to 60% off. Stay tuned. What's going on everybody and welcome to the video. Chances are you've clicked on this video because you're looking at different hosting providers for your website or your blog and HostGator has come up as one of your options. Today we're going to go through and show you how simple and easy it is to get set up through HostGator services as well as hopefully save you a few bucks on top of your plan. Now there are a lot of important steps so you are going to want to watch to the end to be sure that you haven't missed out on any. So without further ado, let's head on over to the computer and get started. To get started, open up your browser of choice and head on over to HostGator.com and select to get started in the middle of the page. Once you've done that, you're gonna be prompted with three different plans that you can choose from, and this is gonna be determined on if you're just starting out or if you're hosting multiple or a single domain. So we're gonna talk about the first two right now, and that's the Hatchling plan and the Baby plan. So you'll notice they're very similar when it comes to one-click installs for WordPress, but they've also got unmetered bandwidth as well as free SSL certificates on all of the plans. The big difference here is, again, if you're just starting out, you're gonna to want to determine if you're gonna be hosting a single domain or website, or if you're going to be hosting a domain with multiple websites or multiple domains, you may want to opt in for the baby plan because it does allow you the unlimited domains. And overall, it isn't actually that much more than the hatchling plan. So if I had a recommendation, it would definitely be the baby plan if you're just starting out. Moving into the business plan, you'll notice that it is a little bit more as far as cost goes, and that's because it does have some upgraded features. Now, it does have the unlimited domains, the one-click installs, everything that the other two plans have. The only difference is it does upgrade you to a positive SSL, which does have a 10,000 dollar warranty on there in case something happens. It does give you a free dedicated IP address versus a shared address from the other two accounts. That more or less just gives you some more control as far as your hosting is concerned. And then it does offer you some free SEO or search engine optimization tools to allow you to get the best SEO as far as whatever business that you have. Now, again, keep in mind, if you wanted to start out with the hatchling plan or the baby plan and then later move up to the business plan, you can do that at any time because HostGator allows you to change your plan at any time without really much effort at all. Once you've decided on a starting plan, you're gonna to want to go ahead and select buy now under the option and it's gonna forward us over to the next page. From here, you're gonna first start off by registering or entering a domain name. For those that don't know what a domain name is, is it's the name that you type in like your browser or your URL in order to get to a certain website. So a couple of examples of those are like google.com, HostGator, uh, Etsy. Those are all different examples of a domain name. So you're gonna to wanna to come up with something that suits your business and type it in here to see if it's available. So for example, I own a business that's a, a photography business, that's Aaron Mark Media. And if I type it in here under the .com extension, it will show that it is unavailable. And that is because I currently own it, but I can choose other extensions if I wanted to. However, I would go through and choose a .com if you can, just because it is the most popular type of extension. So once you've got your domain selected, and if it is available, it's gonna show you a price right here. So if I wanted to do Aaron Mark media.club it would run me about 10 bucks a year so this is billed on a yearly basis and it will provide you with that price over here on the right hand column so now what if you already own a domain through like GoDaddy or through one-on-one -on -one? and that's perfectly okay because HostGator can still provide the hosting for that domain what you're gonna want to do is go to the top and select I already own this domain type in the name of that domain you can see that I've got the AaronMarkMedia.com here everything's all green lit and I can just scroll through and proceed with the step the next step is to choose a hosting plan which we've kind of already done in the previous step. As you can see right here under package type, we have selected the baby plan and it does give us a billing cycle over here on the right that we can choose from either one month all the way up to 36 months. So you can see that it's 20 to 60% off depending on the amount of length that you purchase up front. And of course, the more you purchase up front, you get a bigger discount. This is what you're gonna to want to determine on how much you wanna pay in advance. Once you've got that selected, you're gonna come on down, choose a username and a security pin. This is the information that you're gonna to want to have if you ever need to. Uh, contact HostGator support. Scrolling down just a little bit further, of course, is the part where you're gonna enter in your billing information, all of your standard billing information here. And then you do have the option to either check out with a credit debit card or a PayPal account. Scrolling down to add additional services, these are gonna be up to your user discretion. Each one of the plans does come with a free SSL certificate, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, site lock monitoring, you can uncheck that and save yourself some money there. HostGator does already provide you with a free email address, but if you do want it hosted through Google Cloud, you can select that option. Daily backups of your website. Depending on what plan you choose, if you chose the Hatchling or the Baby, you can still opt into those HostGator uh, search engine optimization tools. If you have chosen the business plan, it is already included 
included with those. Now, of course, the next step is to enter the exclusive promo code that HostGator has provided us. As I said, you can get up to 60% off using the promo code HelpCloud, which we have in the box here for you. I will also post this in the video description. This is an affiliate link and we will be provided commission, which does help support this channel. Once you've entered that promo code and completed the above step, scroll on down to the bottom of the page, select the you have read and agree to HostGator's terms of service and click on checkout now. From here, HostGator will send you a receipt and your cPanel login credentials to the email that you did specify during the signup. Open up that email and click on the portal.hostgator.com link and that will take you to the login page where you can enter those credentials to log into your cPanel. And that is all there is to it. Hopefully you're able to get everything successfully set up on your HostGator services, but be sure to check out the next part of this video. We're gonna go into the HostGator cPanel and show you guys how to install the one-click WordPress. You can do so by clicking the card up in the top right-hand corner or visiting the video description for the link. And with that being said, that wraps up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you do have any type of questions or concerns, leave those in the comments section below. Check out some of the other videos that we have on this channel. We do a lot of stuff tech-related, so I'll link a couple over there on the right-hand side of the screen for you. Subscribe if you're not already and enable the bell notification so you guys don't miss out on any type of future content and we will see you on the next one.